Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Satomi and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my Sephora Spring VIB Sale Haul. But before we get started, I do want to let you know that both of my dogs are in this room with me. I want to apologize ahead of time if you hear them chewing on their bones or if they start playing. They both like to be with me when I'm filming, so they will be here. Okay, so let's get into it. I am actually sitting here in my pajamas because after this, I have nowhere to go. <laughs> so I hope you guys are comfy and cozy at home, just like I am here. Um, like many of you, I did shop the Sephora VIB sale. I actually really love that sale because as a Rouge member, I get 20% off which is a big deal when you want to try new products that might be more pricey. That's usually the time I like to make those purchases. But today I have almost a full face of makeup, different products to share with you. And I will also be inserting some B-roll of application of these different products. I do want to apologize ahead of time because the lighting in my beauty room, my little vanity area, is kind of dark, so um, you could definitely still see the application, but it's just a little darker there than it is here. Okay, so the very first product I purchased is this Foundation by Say, and this is their glowy super skin foundation in the shade 11 and yes you just saw that right i am using a magnifying glass because i think i need glasses and i'm blind so this is the foundation i am wearing today it is a serum type foundation i believe they claim to have skincare products mixed in with this foundation it's a light consistency and you can build it up but i would say that it's a light to medium coverage i do like that it has a pump and so it's not messy it's easy to use i have tried it with a makeup brush as well as a makeup beauty blender or a sponge actually because it's not the brand beauty blender but it's a different sponge and I like both applications, but I prefer applying this with a sponge. Next, I have this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. And this is a powder that I use to set my under eye concealer. I use this triangular powder puff and I just sort of press it under my eye to set my concealer. I really love this powder. It is so silky, soft, and smooth, and it does give this, like it says, ethereal light look under my eyes. So it helps to give my eyes a brightening glow to it, which I really like. It makes me, I feel like it makes me look younger and healthier when your under eye is bright, but it's not too bright and it doesn't, crease or get cakey because it's so finely milled. The powder is so finely milled that it just really sets and gives a seamless, flawless look to your skin under your eye. Okay, so I actually had to take the dogs out because they were making so much noise. I have tried sharing this product with you about five times now but they kept interrupting, so they are gone. I apologize for that. But I also purchased another powder, and this one is by Gucci. And first, can I just, can we just say how beautiful this velour slip is that this Gucci Compact comes in? It's just so luxury. And like I mentioned before, I do like purchasing more expensive products during the sale because I get 20% off. So I did purchase a few Gucci products that I've been wanting to try for a while, but I was waiting for the sale. So this is the compact, and this is the matte natural in number 
five. And look at how beautiful they have Gucci embossed in here. I don't know if you could see that, but it's so pretty. And it also comes with a powder puff. And I purchased this so I could have a compact in the car or in my purse um, as I go out and about. If I need to use a powder, I will have this with me in my purse. I also got the Gucci bronzer and this also comes in a beautiful sleeve. And look at how pretty that is. This compact is so gorgeous. I love the Tiffany blue green shade. Um, mine is in the shade three. And this is the bronzer that I'm wearing today for my makeup look. This also comes with a, let's see. I don't think it's a puff, but it's a brush. It comes with a brush. I don't use this. I do keep it um, in here, but I use an actual makeup brush. But this is a really soft, silky powder as well. And I do like the shade on me. I feel like it's not too deep and not too light, but it really does give my skin a bronzed, tanned look in all the areas that I need it but I really am enjoying this bronzer. I also purchased two bronzers by Hourglass. I got the Ambient Light Bronzer, and this one is in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. And I really love the Hourglass powders. They are so silky. I have yet to actually try these on my face, I've only used, um, I've only been using the Gucci bronzer, but this one is a warmer shade. And then I also got the bronzer in diffused bronze light. And this is a cooler tone, but hourglass powders are so silky smooth. Let's see, where can I put that one. What I love about Hourglass powders is all of the powders, whether it's a setting powder, a bronzer, a blush, whatever powders they're selling, it's silky soft. It feels so nice to the touch. It also just blends beautifully on your skin. So I'm really excited to try both of these bronzers but I also purchased a bronzer by Sephora. And this is the, let's see, matte bronzer in number three, Santorini. So this one is a lighter bronze shade and I have yet to try this on my face as well, but this, is a really beautiful powder. It's very soft and silky. So I kind of really made out with all of the bronzers that I got. All of the powders are very silky smooth. They're not rough or chalky or dry feeling. I hate that feeling when a powder is dry, no matter what kind of powder it is. All of these have been really silky smooth and soft. Now, I also purchased um, another Gucci product and it is one of their blushes. Now, this did not come with a velour sleeve, but this is the blush in Rosy Beige number five. I do think that it's a very cute um, compact. It's smaller than the bronzer and this is the shade. This is what I'm wearing on my face today. And this is just a more mauve shade. Um, it's not like a sunny, bright apricot blush. This is a little deeper and um, deeper in tone and in shade, but I really like those blushes. I have plenty that are bright and spring and summery, 
but I just wanted to try this because I love mauve deep shade blushes. I've been using this uh, for the last week and a half and I've really been enjoying it. I also got a brow gel by Kosas and this is their Air Brow in Medium Brown. I like how small the wand is so you could really get in there um, in your brows and the shade match is perfect for me. Okay, so now on to eyeliner. I purchased this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Electric Empire. So this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It is a metallic blue green and it's just really beautiful. I know that brown eyes match really well with these types of shades. They also match well with purples and violets. So I've been just trying to switch it up with eyeliner and not just using black or brown. I'm trying to try different colors, especially for springtime and summer. So I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and try this one and I really do like it. Look at how pretty that shimmer is. It's like a glitter. Uh, eyeliner and it stays put. I've tried this a few times already and it really does just, you have a little bit of time to kind of, you know, clean it up after you apply it. But then once it sets, it sets and it doesn't like go all over your eyes or anything like that. So the Urban Decay eyeliners are really good products. Okay, so I have another Gucci product and this is the Gucci Mascara. I actually have not tried this yet, but it's a beautiful, I mean, Gucci packaging is so stunning, and I can't lie, I am a sucker for packaging. If it looks pretty and if it feels weighty, I love it. And Gucci so far has just blown me out of the water with their packaging. It's all been stunning. So I really do like the wand. I feel like this is one of those wands that could really grip in your eyelashes. I've read many reviews and have heard many people speak very highly of this mascara, so I am excited to try it. And now we are down to the last two products, which are lip products. And the first is this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper Plumping Lip Liner in the shade Puffy Nude. So I am wearing this liner today. And this is one of those lip liners that like their other lip injection um, lip gloss gives you that plumping effect when you apply this lip liner on your lips you do feel that tingling sensation like you do from their lip extreme injection lip glosses this has that but this is a really pretty nude shade i feel like it's the perfect kind of taupe nude and it's a neutral shade it's not too cool toned or it's not too warm toned i find it to be quite neutral on my skin tone and finally i have a charlotte tilbury lipstick in the shade dance floor princess now this packaging is so beautiful also this is the red uh, leopard print and you know Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks feel weighty they feel luxurious but this is in the shade nude or dance floor princess but it's a nude shade it is the shade I'm wearing on my lips today and let me just swatch it for you it is such a perfect nude shade it's like this pink nude it's not peachy it's not beige it's just this really pretty pink shade nude that's always the kind of nude shade i'm looking for i like it to have a hint of pink in it 
If it's too beigey and light, it really makes my face look dead. I look dead wearing a shade like that. But if it's too deep, then it's not a nude. So the pink nudes um, seem to work well for me. And I really love this lipstick. It's very creamy. The formula is very comfortable on the lips. It's long lasting, just like all of Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks. I love all of her lipsticks. So that's everything, guys. Those are all the products that I purchased in this Sephora sale, the Spring VIB sale. I'll link everything in the description box below if you're interested in checking any of these products out. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and what you think about them. If you love them, if they didn't work for you, I would love to know in the comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to spend with me. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Cause you're a boss, baby, boss lady Ain't no looking back, walk it off, baby In charge,